Hello, my Cancer friends. This is Lori of Your Empress Energy, and I am going to do your very first Cancer Collective reading only. Okay, so let's get to it. First of all, these are the sign um, zodiac sign energies that are present in the room right now. At the time of this reading, these could be your lucky numbers. For the week, take one number, two, three, all four. That's up to you. Don't take any. And these are the planetary effects that may personally affect each of your, um, each of you and your houses. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started on your reading. I hope everyone is doing well. Whoa. Look at this celebration came right out okay celebration very first card to show up that's awesome i hope you're all doing well this week hope you had a great week last week uh might as well get the housekeeping out of the way tarot is not for everyone and tarot does not resonate for everyone every reading so take what does and leave the rest for somebody else and if you check your sun, moon, and Venus uh, signs in your natal charts, then you may resonate more clearly with those. One of those for this week, okay? So we have the death card. You guys put an end to something. That's great. That is awesome. You, you finished off a cycle, and now good, positive things are going to be coming in for you, okay? Let's see what the energies are telling me. And by the way, I, I'm sorry, but I ha am living in Florida now, and it's a beautiful day. I've got a screen in my window, so my window is open. And I do live in a neighborhood, um, a, a ruralish neighborhood, but the guy next door just bought this house, and he's fixing it up. So there's a lot of construction sounds. I do apologize. They're not, cons they're not constant. They just come out of the blue. And you'll hear them talking every now and then, and cars going by. All right. Oh, and there goes that spider car. That thing's awesome. I'm going to drive that car one of these days. Anyways, let's get into your reading. Okay, so we had the ending of something. Oh, we've got three of cups, the death card, and the three of swords. Hmm, definitely going to have to delve deeper into this to find out what is happening. Look at all the threes. Three, three, three. Okay, 13. All right, let's see what else we've got for you, my Cancer friends. My daughter's a Cancer. Hopefully, it's going to tell me she's having an amazing day, week, that she's going to be happy. She's always happy. She makes her own happiness, which is what we all should do, okay? So here we go. we got the Strength card on the bottom. Let's take a look at what we're getting here. Yeah, well, we're ending with justice here, so that's a good thing. That's definitely a positive thing. Okay, it looks like some sort of celebration um, has happened recently, which was good. You got to, hey, yeah, I got to spend time with my uh, daughter and grandson recently and son-in-law. That was awesome. Maybe this is stating something along that nature. You got to spend time with family, celebrating, having a good time. And then, oh, I don't know what to think of this. I really don't. I'm, hmm. There's a lot going on in here. There is so much going on in here. Okay. All right. So basically, celebrations. Some things have been hidden from you, hidden from you recently. Maybe things you just didn't know it doesn't mean somebody was hiding anything from you it just means you did not have that knowledge um the moon keeps her secrets as they say okay so it, it could just mean that you did not see something you did not have the information you needed uh and hmm You've done a lot of introspection, okay? You, you've made a lot of sacrifices here. And for some reason, you are feeling 
like you have been stabbed in the back somehow, okay? That people you trusted did not have your back. Doesn't mean they actually did anything against you. It just means that you were looking for support, um, emotional support, something to build your confidence up, and you just didn't get what you were looking for, okay? that That's what's coming through for me for some of you. Other people read the Three of Swords as a, um, a relationship with multiple people in it. It does not always mean that. I mean, it, it can just mean that you feel betrayed, that you didn't get what you were hoping for, okay? And maybe this is what caused this cycle to end, okay? That's all the death card represents is that something had to come to an end. And whenever something comes to an end, that means there's room for something new to come in. And what I'm seeing here, the new thing here is the Ace of Wands, which is a creative, passionate um, offering from the divine. Okay, it's an ace. It's a, a new beginning and a new creative process. You've been inspired. Your muses are speaking to you. It's because you... Okay, it's coming through clearly now. It is coming through very clearly. Okay. Okay, let me take a peek here. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, all right. So what I'm seeing here now is there was a situation where everything felt really good, like life was just going your way, perfect, and somehow somebody didn't have your back. That's how you felt. You felt betrayed, okay? It ended that situation, and you kept your, you kept balance in the situation. That's what temperance speaks of, okay? And it brought you recognition in your in your position um your job an endeavor the re, the situation if this was a personal re, situation the other person recognized that they were wrong okay they recognized that they they caught that they but it was because you kept yourself balanced you kept your emotions at bay you thought about the pro what had happened if this was with a person you thought about things from their side of the situation and you didn't take it further okay you just let the situation go and the other person got clarification on what they needed you got clarification okay the moon hides things from us, but when we have the hangman energy, sacrifices are made, justice is over here. It took strength, okay, to get through that situation, but by you using your strength, and I think I saw, oh, yeah, the devil down here, you were not tempted you were tempted. You were tempted to go in a different direction, to react differently to the situation, and you did not. You're not going to. That's what's coming for you in the week ahead, okay? You have not let your emotions or your anger or any of that rule the situation. And what happens is you are going to return to a sense of happiness, peace, community, things are going to be brought back together, okay? Uh, you're not going to feel betrayed. You're going to let all of that go, and justice will be served, and, and you're going to be, yeah, you're going to have some sort of epiphany about your own career that is going to take you into a new place, okay? Four of Pentacles, you're sitting stern on your money. You're, you're holding tight to what you've built. That's a good position to be in, okay? You're using your strength to stay where you're at, and then the heavens offer you 
an ace of cups okay this is the ultimate offering from the divine okay and this could be whatever powers that may be that you believe in that you follow okay that look after you they're making you the ultimate offering here they're going to gift you with creativity abundance happiness justice just have faith stay strong keep your temp uh keep things balanced here we go temperance and then two of pentacles keep thing ba things balanced and judgment with justice comes okay knight of cups an offering the hermit your knowledge is there you have it within you you've you've gone in and found that knowledge inside yourself and you are good to go okay all right so what i when i first started reading this i was feeling very negative hang on one second guys okay guys sorry about that uh tree trimmers went through it was extremely loud they just sat out here for almost 20 minutes anyways i started to say that i was picking up some really like nervousness when i first saw this reading and it took me a while to tune to it but there really wasn't much ner reason for that those feelings i mean no that's not what i'm saying i didn't see why there should be um those feelings okay obviously something happened um that made you feel very very nervous very uncomfortable okay but it looks like it is going to be resolved this week either it's happened already and it's on its way to resolution or it hasn't ha happened yet i wouldn't put too much uh effort into trying to figure anything out at this point let the divine take care of what's going on in your life okay so we'll see if we can get some clarification on that. What might be heading your way that you might want to work, look out for or just um, whatever the universe wants to tell us right now. Any clarification on what we've got going on here. Let's start with uh, the Three of Cups. It sounds like a happy time. Good times, okay? And what we've got there is the Ten of Cups. You can't ask for better than that. That's ultimate fulfillment of happiness, okay? Uh, hey, um, sorry to keep saying um. <sighs> Satisfaction. Relationships are good. The sun is shining in the background. It's the end of a cycle, okay? There we go. All right. So... It's an end of a cycle. That's what a death means. The end of a cycle. Something new has to start. Okay, so you reached an ultimate moment of bliss. You came to major clarity on something, or you're going to come to clarity. You're going to feel comfortable and peaceful with the whole world. And let's see what else we can get here, okay? The magician. You are the magician, my cancer friends. Okay, you can make whatever you set your mind to happen. All right, manifesting, dreams come true, divine intervention, whatever you want to call it, you are the one that determines how things work in your life, in your life, okay? So, right here, the magician is over this area here of the death, of the three of swords, showing that the temperance needs to be used, okay? And that's what you're doing. You use your temperance and your knowledge of the world, okay? The things you've learned during your time of introspection, you're using those things to your benefit. And the Four of Pentacles. We had the Four of Pentacles over here, too. Yeah, four and four, okay? So we had threes and we had fours. Yes, and we have a couple of aces, too. Yep, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. So one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. So we got some major synchronicities going on. Four of Pentacles here suggests that you're satisfied with where you're at. You're, you've reached a point where you're comfortable and you're going to stand still. You don't care if things expand just yet. Okay. You're fine where you're at. There you go. The Emperor. That's the uh, king that's in power of everything. Okay, so my cancer friends, whatever may be worrying you, whatever may come across your path this week, don't worry about it. Stay in your strength, your emperor energy. 
if you're female empress energy it's just a it's an energy okay but the magician and the emperor those are two of the highest cards in the uh, minor arc arcana where it talks about what we can control in our lives okay ten of cups bliss happiness you've got it here you've got it coming in okay awesome this is an awesome, awesome reading. Whoa, I'm not taking any of those cards because look at how many there are here. <laughs> okay, so we'll start that again. They just wanted a little reshuffle, I think. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of energy in this room today. I will say that. And it's been, uh, it's been weird. <sighs> okay, there's still too many cards, but I'll take this one. The Eight of Pentacles. You've worked very hard. They want The Divine wants you to know that they recognize that you have worked very, very hard. Let me backtrack and say, the energies in here have been very playful, very um, teasing. I felt a little nervousness. I've never felt nervousness during my readings, and both of them. I've only done Aries and Now You Cancer. Um, both of them I started off with nervousness and i don't understand that i've never felt that before but it's gone and now the playful energies are here surrounding us the divine wants you to know that they do recognize the hard work that you've done you you know the sacrifices that you have personally made and they are guiding you to help you get what it is out of life okay Whatever it is you're looking for this week, be clear in what you would like, and the divine will be willing to help you. And there, it takes a tower effect, a tower moment to have the new brought in. The tower and the death card are pretty much the same um, energies, and ending brings newness, okay? Brings in something new. So, all of your hard work is being recognized let's see if we can get some clarification on this tower i have a feeling that it's going to be a very um whoa clear message there we go clear from the high priestess who has total intuition okay she sees everything from beginning to end uh, we don't see oh yes we do we see it right here all phases of the moon are in this card and ten, ten of pentacles. Okay, so the clarity here is here. Okay, let's move these over. Yes, you definitely have the divine word, the universe working in your favor this week. You are definitely uh, doing something right, my cancer friends. Yes, you are. Okay, so I'm not sure what this tower moment was or will be. But it's not going to be a major thing because the high priestess sees all and she says that you're going to come out on top. Your money's going to be good. Your happiness is, um, your sense of happiness will be increased. Tens are the highest you can get. Okay. And then the cycle starts again. So right there, your high priestess is trying to tell you that you've got the strength and the energy to create and manifest the happiness and wealth that you're looking for this week, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Maybe a little rest is going to be necessary after this. Page of Swords, somebody is watching you in the physical world. They're looking to see what it is you're doing, okay? Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. There's going to be some sort of judgment made. Again, we've got double energy of the hanged man, okay? sacrifices that were made and somebody's recognizing that four of wands there you go four of wands is this, like a ton of pentacles energy here it's bliss happiness happy home happy wife um happy life doesn't have to be wife um but yeah okay awesome look at that king of swords and queen of swords right next to each other in the deck that is your person this is you and your person. Okay, Cancer? You too. Communicate. You understand each other. Sometimes you don't even need words. But you, boy, boy, both of you have a cutting edge about you. 
when you communicate. You might not put it in the nicest format, either one of you, but you know exactly what the other person is saying and you know that you're, you're a couple, okay? You're meant to be together. Yep. Yep. Be nice to each other. Be kinder. <laughs> Gentler. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting a very playful vibe on that. May seem like it's uh, all swords in the air, but there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of love. Okay, let's see here. I've got two cards here. Look at this. Ten of Cups again. Ten of Cups was down here somewhere. Whoops, spinning cards. Got a lot of queen strength here, too. All right, I'm making a mess. Ten of Cups. Ow, oh, jeez, it's right here, right on top. That's the universe telling you again. You are going to have that Ten of Cups, okay? This right here, your Four of Cups. It's all in how you look at the situation. Because as you can see, he's got three cups that are in the upright position right there. And he's sitting there in an obstinate, I'm not happy with anything, okay? No, I don't want your offer of whatever this cup has in it. But if you... Take time to look at it for what it really is. You're going to have the Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so there has to be... Oh, I see it. It's the death of an ego. Okay, somebody has to get outside of their own pride, their own way of thinking, and work to manifest a good working relationship. Okay, you can stay strong you can stay in your positive energy. Don't be petty. Get out of the ego, okay? Enough said. You guys know who I'm talking to. That's not for everyone, okay? So take that as that resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it for the other people, okay? And we just got the Ten of Swords, or the Nine of Swords, excuse me, which suggests um, your own self-worry, okay? You, you, you are concerned, actually. Yeah. It's, it's you worrying about things. Doesn't mean that any of those things are real, but they're in your head. Okay. They're, they're where you're focusing your attentions right now. So you can turn that around. You can absolutely turn that around and again, let the ego go. Everybody has an ego, okay? Here's the judgment card again. You're walking away from something negative. Yes, okay? You're wa wa walking away from something negative here. And the judgment is going to be made, okay? We got the justice card down here. So that reconfirms, and I'm pretty sure, whoops, <laughs> four of swords. I don't know if this came up in this reading or not. Definitely came up in the Aries one. Four of Swords suggests needing to take a step back, rest, okay? Uh, let things go. Whatever's going on in your life, don't hang on to these feelings. Just let it go. Aries had this, a similar thing. If something's bothering you, let your guiding, um, guarding energies, whoever they are, know what's going on. Pray to them, manifest, write it down. Just tell them, communicate with them somehow, however you com communicate with your higher power. Communicate to them very clearly what it is that's bothering you and offer it up to them to take care of. And if you just sit back after that and rest, they will. They will absolutely take care of it. They want you to have this Ten of Cups, okay? And they're saying, if you do that, if you can give it up to the universe and let them take care of it, it will end all of that stress and worry. Okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I've got energies that will take care of these things for me, too. So if you can trust them to take care of you, you're going to be in a much better place. You can get rid of all that stress. Okay? Let's see what else we have here. Anything else?
So I hope everyone's doing well this week. If any of this resonates with you, go ahead and drop me a comment. I really, really would like to connect with you guys and know, you know, if this is making sense to you. If so, what in particular worked? What what clicked with you? What didn't? Okay, we got the four of wands. The four of wands is like the ten of cups, and I'm pretty sure we had... I saw it somewhere. I thought it was over here. Anyways, happy home, happy happy life, everything that you could want for, okay? Just got to give it up to the universe. And that one really popped out here. If you don't, you're going to continue to feel like you're out in the cold, okay? Just give it up. Stop trying to control all. <laughs> Am I still reading for Aries? Because that's what we got. Let go of control. You can't control everything. And when you try to, you just cause yourself headaches and stress and dissatisfaction. And then you end up needing to walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. Here you are. You've uh, got, you had uh, the offering from the heavens, the ace of wands. Okay. Now you're at the two of wands. You have the whole world in your hands. You just need to make and move forward okay you have to make a decision and that decision is whether or not you are going to try to control things or if you're going to let the divine inter intercede on your behalf and help you move on and give you all the blessings that you deserve and i do see that you guys have really done a lot of shadow work you know this that's what the hanged man presence means that you took a lot of time sacrificing uh, to get your own happiness, to get your understanding. And here it is. There's the hermit proving that you did. Okay. You worked hard to get clarification and get to where you're at in life. Now, the only thing you need to do is give up control and do not try to control everything around you. Okay. And you're going to have your Ten of Cups bliss. The lovers, it can mean two people in a relationship. We did have the king and queen of, I think it was swords over here. So that's a sign of you and your um, your person in the lovers. Okay, this could mean a soulmate connection. Oh, look. And on the bottom of the deck is the ace of wands. Okay, so you were already offered this. This came to you recently and you now are at this level. Okay, where you need to make a choice. And if you make the right choice, the world is right there for you. Okay, I'm not going to preach. I'm not preaching. Okay, page one's another offer. Ten of Swords talks about all the trials, tribulations that we feel we have been through, whether they're real, imagined, whatever they are, they're over with. You're at the 10. You completed it. You need to have a death of that situation you need to have that tower moment to get rid of all of that okay so great reading here just ah, and the powers that be i think are trying to tell us to get out of our own way here lately okay because i think that's what we're all doing is getting in our own way trying to control too much and yes we do need to be in control of a lot of things but there are certain things Especially when we try to control things for other people. You can't do that. Okay? And I'm seeing some of that here. I'm seeing a little bit of that. So for some of you, just pray that other people are happy. Okay? And you will find that you are happy. All right. Let's see what your angels, um, ancestors, the divine wants to tell you. Okay? I'm going to pick two cards. Nope. Three. It's up to you. So again, if you can release the control, then you are going to gain the Ten of Cups. You can't, I mean, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, celebrations, lovers, happy life, okay? But it's up to you. Everybody has free will. Tarot is not set in stone. This is meant to be a guiding force for people, okay? Within the next few months. So I don't know what that question was that you may have had for your um, guiding powers. So I'm not going to try to interpret that. And the next one says the situation will improve. Again, I'm not going to talk about what situation other than 
overall, if you give up some of that control, that need to control every single aspect of your life, give it up to the universe, give it up to the divine, give it up to your guardian angels, and they will look out for you. Okay? All right. So, we'll get two cards from the Whispers of Love. Okay? These cards are finally not sticking. <laughs> they were, I don't know what was causing them to stick, but they needed a treatment. And they got one, so. All right. Let's cut the deck. I, in case I didn't say earlier, <laughs> I'm in Florida, I'm living in a neighborhood, and the guy across the way here has just bought this property and is remodeling his home, you know, upgrading things. And then just a little while ago, I had the tree trimmers come in and make all kinds of noise for about 20 minutes. And let's see. So there are cars that are going to go by every now and then. I can't help that. I'm sorry. Um... And we have what they call no seams, and they bite you, and they itch when they bite. It hurts, and then it itches, and you can't see these things ever. There's nothing. There's just nothing there. But anyways, this will end soon. And uh, I ruined all my fingernails when I moved, okay, while I was moving, packing, all of that stuff. I mean, they were horrible. And of course, I was off my vitamins for a while, but I'm back on them now. They're getting better. Sorry for the condition that they're in, but it cannot be helped. All right. So what we have here is physical touch. It says a tender touch can mean so much. Wow. Is that true or what? Okay. It's happening here too. The synchronicities, the numbers. Okay. You had the double aces, double twos, double threes, and now you have 11. Four and seven is 11. Okay. Okay. So you've got synchronicities going on big time, just like the Aries do. I think there's something happening here in uh, our universe. Dates to keep in mind this year. We have um, 2, 20, 20, 22. That's the date for this month. Next, this beginning of this week. This reading right here. Um, and then we have 2, 22, 20, 22. So I'll bring up more dates, um, but those are important because major things will happen on those dates or right around those dates for everybody, okay? This is a whole collective that will be affected by things that happen around those dates. All right. A tender touch can mean so much. Sometimes a hug is exactly what is needed. Physical connection is important to humans. Hand-holding, kissing, embracing, back rubs, an arm around the shoulder, or a pat on the back are ways of expressing support, care, encouragement, and more. This talks back to what I originally started at the very beginning of where you felt like you were betrayed or not supported. Okay, you didn't feel supported. And this, is, this right here is talking about that. Okay. Think about how good you feel when someone greets you with a warm hug or, or offers you a comforting hand. These small interactions can really help you with your day. Giving and receiving through touch helps to keep your heart open. Physical touch is immeasurably vital in creating a spiritual bond. Okay, we got the spiritual bond here with the lovers and the king and queen of swords over there. Okay, so that's your spiritual bond. And the divine wants you to know that that is what is what kind of a relationship you're in. You've got a very spiritual bond. All right, so let's see. The delicate force provided through touch helps build trust and understanding in your relationships. Physical touch can calm, console, and express much more than words. Okay, in this card... We can see, I hope, there we go. A woodsman kisses the hand of a statue and changes her from stone to flesh. Imagine how important this could be. Giving someone a hand, a squeeze, a high five, or a hug.
can change someone's day entirely. Truth, absolute truth, be that person. I know you're that person. And when other people don't return that to you, just be consistent in it because they will. They, they may not be able to express love and caring the way that you do. Sorry about the saw, guys. Um, but they probably do still care. And if you consistently show them through touch, through caring, hopefully that works on them in such a manner that they see how positive it makes them feel. And then eventually they realize they could do the same thing for you to show their appreciation, their love, their support. Okay? So hang in there. That's not always easy. No doubt about that. All right. It says, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. When you do something kind for someone, you create an opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized. How can you be considerate towards someone today? Insignificant things can have a big impact. Imagine how amazing your life will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others. Now, I, I've got to pause here because I do know that a lot of you cancers do constantly do this type of thing. You put yourself out there. You're constantly giving to others, okay? And never, ever, ever stop being that way. That is such a beautiful heart, beautiful way of being. However, sometimes we can overdo what we give. When we give, we have to step back and be willing to receive, okay? If we're not willing to actually receive what might be offered, we can't receive it, okay? Now, I said what might be offered to you may be in a different form than you're used to giving. So, if you're used to giving attention to somebody in a physical way, touches, this, that, or whatever, maybe their way is more in just sitting quietly next to you, being home instead of out with the guys. So recognize when somebody is doing something for you, even though it might be different than what you would do for them. Okay? Yeah, that, that, that was a powerful message that just was, I was told I had to give that. Okay, do something for someone. It does not need to be someone you are close to or that you see every day. You might choose to do something for someone you don't even know, excuse me. Just choose someone and do something nice for them. There are so many ways to act with kindness. Cancer, you guys are the the epitome of kindness, okay? Open a door for someone who has their arms full. Greet everyone you see. Never underestimate the power of a smile or a positive attitude. Put extra change in a parking meter. It doesn't take much to change someone's day. <clears throat> and if we focus our attention across the board to everyone we come in contact, then we don't give too much to only one person and then feel like they aren't giving enough in return. Okay. In this card, it says, whoops, I got the wrong card. Number 41 here. Okay. It says, nature's child lovingly pets a rabbit while others other animals gather around. Rabbits are a signifier of compassion. Is that in focus, guys? They remind you to look inside for the tools you already have. The deer is here to emphasize limitless kindness. Take a moment to consider how wonderful it is to give to someone. Brightening someone's day is a wonderful experience. Sorry about the truck. <laughs> cannot let things like that bother you just can't do it it's going to happen every day all right my cancer friends i certainly hope you enjoyed this reading i enjoyed spending time with you and thinking about this this gives me messages about what i can do in my life to improve my own situation i hope it helps you get through this coming week remember give it up to the divine you've got bliss total happiness at your hands if you can give up control. 
And I had to tell Aries the same thing. And considering I'm an Aries, you know, we're all in the same boat. We all have to give up a little bit of that control. All right, guys, until I see you next week, love, peace, and happiness.